What's up, interwebs? It's been a hot minute since I've done one of these videos. Got a little uh, college football playoff preview for you. Oh, that's a tongue twister. Try saying that 11 times fast. Um, yeah, here we have the uh, Fiesta Bowl between the Michigan Wolverines and the TCU Texas Christian University Horned Frogs, the old horny frogs in this one. Um, the Turn of the Frogs gay! My God! The Turn of the Frogs gay, you guys! But guess what? They actually did turn the frogs gay. Um, anyway, <laughs> back to football. I'm going to be honest with you. I, I'm kind of retarded. <laughs> anyway, uh, Michigan is a seven-point favorite in this one, and um, I'm going with them as well. I, I don't think TCU has what it takes to to upset Michigan. It's possible. This game, however, this video game, says Maximum Football 2020. Doug Flutie's Maximum Football 2020, to, to be exact. Uh, they have them winning this game <laughs> because I played as Michigan, and they beat me. Anyway, um, I'll talk about this game a little bit. It's honestly, it's actually a, a in my opinion, it's a, it's a very fun uh, football game. It's it's quite rough. It's uh, it's nowhere near Madden as far as the um, visuals go, but it's uh, it's a it's a competent. Uh, and fun playing football game. It's got some serious uh, ragdoll physics going on that you'll probably see in some of these clips here. Um, I don't want to ramble on too much. Uh, however, the company was made by I, I, a, a tiny independent development company. I, I honestly think uh, I think f maybe five people in total actually worked on this game. I know it was predominantly done by one guy. His name is Dave Winter. <clears throat> anyway, the company went under, and uh, but thankfully, Dave Winter actually sold the rights to the, the game, the title, and sold everything to a company called Modus Games that's um, supposedly rebooting it, and they uh, they got the budget for it. So that's uh, interesting to see. Interesting to see because uh, honestly. <laughs> This is literally the only college-themed football game that we have on the, you know, wonderful, futuristic, forward-thinking, um, vi current-gen video game consoles. Uh, actually, technically, it's not even um, current-gen because this is, you know, this is... I'm playing the PS4 version of this game on the PS5, so... Technically, as far as current-gen goes, there is no college-themed football game, and I say themed because uh, this game is not licensed by the NCAA or the schools or players or anything like that. Um, it has 130 schools in it, but they're, you know, they're fictional and they somewhat resemble the actual schools because, you know, they had to be careful with that too. Actually, uh, as you see on the screen here, this is at the very end of regulation where I, me as Michigan, I tie up the game against TCU and it goes into overtime. And uh, the overtime obviously is resembling that of college, you know, uh, their structured overtime that I don't really want to get into right now. It's a whole thing. But anyway, know that uh, when I made my attempt here, I got a field goal, thankfully. Uh, and of course, uh, TCU scores a touchdown. Passing physics in this game are, are really, really rough. Pretty rough around the edges. But, uh, but it is uh, very fun to play. So yeah, in this one, uh, Maximum Football has TCU winning 34 to 31. My prediction, however, is Michigan 35 to 24. I think it's going to be a pretty good game. I think it's going to be a lot of touchdowns scored. Um, but yeah, on to the next one. The Georgia Bulldogs hosting the Ohio State Buckeyes. And I do say hosting because this is basically a home game for them. They're playing in Atlanta. <laughs> I almost said the Georgia Dome. Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Whatever. The new Georgia Dome. Uh, this one's going to be a little tougher to call. I think most of us have Georgia winning this one. They're the defending champs and number one overall in the country. Um, 
Ohio State. I mean, both of these schools, they are both very, very good football schools. Top notch. This one, this game kind of sucked, actually. A uh, couple injury, a lot of injuries in the first half. <clears throat> I didn't actually play this one. I let the computer take over, and I probably should have played it. Because uh, not much happened. So a lot of injuries. Uh, you saw Georgia. Their kicker missed a field goal. The first point scored was in the was it the third quarter, second quarter, when Ohio State finally kicked one. Uh, anyway, I think most of us are expecting a Georgia Michigan championship game. Um, I don't think anybody really wants to see Ohio State Michigan. I mean, maybe their fan bases, but. I don't want to see a Ohio State Michigan game because they play each other all the fucking time. Their rival, their rival schools. I mean, yes, they're both great schools. They have great games against each other, but I believe they've played each other twice this year already. Michigan beat them in the Big Ten championship game. I think Michigan beat them in the regular season as well. I I don't remember, but uh, honestly, if Ohio State were to beat Georgia. I think the ideal matchup would actually be Ohio State TCU. It would it would have to be both schools making the upset because I believe Georgia is a six point favorite in this game. Yeah, as you see at the half here, ten seven, not a whole lot going on. But uh, anyway, as I was saying, the ideal matchup I think for the fans, if Ohio State were to upset Georgia, would be TCU also making the upset on Michigan. I think Ohio State TCU would be a fun game but I think that the ideal matchup that everyone's lo- it's it's Georgia Michigan it's it's I think it's gonna be Georgia Michigan we're all calling Georgia Michigan and I have Michigan winning it all I'm not even a, a Michigan fan per se but they are having a uh, they are having a phenomenal season I've caught some of their games this year I honestly really like Jim Harbaugh as a coach um, so yeah Michigan Georgia I think I think I, it's even that's tough to call. I'm, I think I'm gonna do a video later for the championship game, but um, yeah, I think that's about it. I don't really think there was anything else I wanted to talk about with the video game. But yeah, here we go. Maximum has Ohio State winning 17 to seven. I have Georgia winning 28 21. I think it's gonna be a little more high scoring. I think both are actually gonna be fun games and that's why i wanted to do this i it's i i'm really looking forward to the um to the playoffs this year and uh like i said that's why i wanted to do this um uh i think it's actually for the first time in a long time i think it's actually a very fun and interesting and uh playoff uh, playoffs don't talk about playoffs you kidding me playoffs uh, and and I'm not saying this. I'm not saying that it's interesting and fun and cool for the first time in a while because a certain school, a certain team that wins it every goddamn year, that gets all kinds of special treatment from the NCAA, that has a committee handpick them to be in the playoffs every year, that said committee has shoehorned them into the playoffs over teams that beat them that probably should have been there more than them a specific school that i'm not going to mention by name isn't in it this year no that's not what i'm saying at all no anyway um thanks for watching if you watched this far um i'm sorry for all the rambling and the the ranting and the 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 uhs and ums um I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I worked all night. Um, but I really wanted to talk about some college football. And this was the only time I had to actually sit down and record this. So I hope you enjoyed it if you did watch it. Um, if you're if you're a fan, uh, I hope you enjoy the games. If not, I hope you have a good day. Um, but yeah, again, thank you for watching. Uh, goodbye.